Hello, my name is Elijah Spyro, and today I'm doing a demo video on the newest feature of my game, Astralo. So, for those of you who have been following along on either the blog or the official website, astralo.com, which I will link to in the description, uh, you will know what this is about. This video is about the level crafter. And so the idea behind this is, once the game is released as a full game, um, I don't want players to be limited by just the levels that I make and include. So I'm creating a kind of sandbox mode where players can make their own levels and then upload them to astralo.com where other players will hopefully be able to download, rate them, that kind of thing. So what I'm going to show you first is the level editor part. And keep in mind this is the very first version I'm showing anyone. This is very new, it's nowhere near complete. Right now all you can make is a basic cube and eventually anything you see in the real game will be able to be made in the level editor. So keep that in mind as you're watching this. But for now, what we've got here is your little avatar ball and you can move in six directions. You can move left, snap to a grid by the way, right, up, down, and then you can actually change your Z direction. You can go physically like down under the map or above it. So if we hit the space bar, we create a block. So what if we wanted to make a whole row of these? All I've done is gone to the right and hit spacebar over and over. Now what if we want to test this? Easy. We hit tab, and suddenly we control the player. Now there is a sort of grid beneath you so that you can't fall off. If we fall onto this grid, stay alive, and we can jump back onto the level. And that's because we're not trying to beat this level right now, we're just trying to make it. So when you release this level to other players and they play it, there will not be a grid. So right now we've got this nice looking line. Great. What if we want to add to it? Easy. Now we hit the tab key again, and we're back in editing mode. So what if we wanted to make it a staircase? By just moving to the right over and over, and changing our Z uh, direction, we can create a basic staircase that we can then test. So, we go back to tab, and one thing that's cool is that it actually saves your position. So say you're making this staircase, and you get up halfway, and you realize you want to change something. No problem. Hit tab again, change whatever you got to change, maybe add a uh, staircase going off to the side. And then when you hit tab a third time, it will remember that you're halfway up the staircase. So we head on up, and we could go all the way up like this, or we could go on this new path we made, and then drop down. So again, I'm not trying to make a real level yet, because obviously all we have right now is the cubes, but you guys get the basic idea. So that's how it's coming so far. Um, if you've got any questions, comments, feedback on how I'm doing so far, go ahead and post it. Oh, and then one more thing I'm going to show you. If we go back into editing mode, say we want to make one block darker than the rest to maybe signify the start or the end point. All we do is go over the block we want to make darker and make more blocks. And since these are changed by alpha levels, the opacity will change too. So now that block's darker, maybe we want to make this block darker. So just like that, and maybe this top block. So yeah, and then that will show up when we play the game. See, now this one's a little bit darker than the rest of them. So, that is what we have so far in the level crafter for Astralo. Keep checking back, I plan on adding many more block types very soon, probably today actually, so check back soon.